It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Monday, May 3rd, 2021. Number one, today, family and friends will remember Andrew Brown Jr. as the nation will learn more about the black man shot to death by a North Carolina County Sheriff's deputies. The celebration of Andrew's life is a necessary step in the grieving process, but as many are likely to mention during today's funeral, the real work lies ahead. As Reverend Al Sharpton and others come together today to comfort his family, may they also be comforted by the fact that justice in the form of real systemic change will come to their loved one, to Elizabeth City, North Carolina, and to a nation of people living in fear that any one of us could be next. Number two, the long-awaited announcement of the 2020 census results released last week, prompting concern and surprise from some states and civic organizations. The 2020 count faced unprecedented challenges, including underfunding, as well as attempts by the Trump administration to add a citizenship question and exclude undocumented immigrants from the count. The coronavirus pandemic was also a huge factor in the 2020 count, as door-to-door head counts were stalled due to shutdowns. Number three, the Biden administration is urging Americans in India to leave that country as it plans to restrict travel between the U.S. and India beginning tomorrow, Tuesday, May 4th. The restriction comes as India sets another daily global record of new infections Saturday with more than 400,000 new cases. The U.S. and other countries are sending aid supplies to India, including rapid tests, N95 masks, oxygen, and vaccines. Number four, while eating lunch at an IHOP in Lorton, Virginia, four black army soldiers from Fort Belvoir were approached by a white woman who thanked them for their military service and offered to pay for their lunch. For reasons unknown, the woman came back to their booth a few minutes later and began harassing the troops, accusing them of stealing her money while using the N-word. The exchange was posted on TikTok video and has gone viral, prompting an internal investigation by the army to gather information on the woman and her motives. Number five, Wall Street Titans are making a mad dash for black art. Billionaire hedge fund managers Steve Cohen and Kenneth Griffin both recently donated high-profile pieces to the Museum of Modern Art, or MoMA. Since 2010, the MoMA has secured 430 pieces by black artists. Last year, a painting by Jean-Michel Basquiat sold for $110.5 million, the sixth highest price for a piece at an auction. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Being happy is part of a healthy mind. All right. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with our social activists, Coy Malone and comedians Huggy Lowdown and Chris Paul as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and Black Voters Matter. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed. Be empowered.